guys and welcome back to today's video. Today I'm back with a haul. I've got quite a few autumnal pieces here. They're all from Talever. This is a new brand that I'm trying out. I haven't worn all of these pieces yet and I haven't tried all of them on yet because I've been trying to save them for this video. A few of them I've tried on and I really do like. I've got some favourite pieces here and I'm going to go through them. The link to everything will be in the description so if you are interested in anything then feel free to check it out. I will try to put the links in the order that I show them to you. Does that, does that make sense? I think that makes sense. So, the order that I show them to you, the links will be in the same order. So you can just click straight through if you like the second item, it will be the second link, etc. So, yeah, like I said, this is a new brand. I haven't really heard of them that much before. I've never ordered from them before. I was kindly sent these pieces and I thought I'd just kind of try them on, let you know what I think. And fingers crossed, they're going to be cute. I think they're going to be cute. They look really cute on the website, so let's go. So the first piece I have, I absolutely love this. I saw this on the website and I thought it was just really gorgeous. It's like this, what would you call this? It's kind of like salt and pepper, but not. It's just a long sleeved kind of turtleneck, drapey, like sweater jumper thing. This could look really, really cute with just black leggings and then brown little boots. I think it would be absolutely adorable. I really really love this piece, it's so easy to just throw on with like a messy bun and like some hoop earrings, it could look adorable. I really like kind of casual pieces like this, especially for like autumn winter. I feel like my style is much more casual when it comes to autumn winter time because I just kind of, probably two, three pieces at most is what I wear, so this is kind of like a staple for me, long drapey jumpers because I only wear leggings if they cover my butt. I don't know if any of you guys are the same, but I know a lot of people are like that. So next piece I have is definitely one of my favourites. It's kind of like, I love these wraparound like tops. They kind of remind me of maternity tops. I'm not pregnant, but you know, I eat the amount of food that can make me look pregnant. This is absolutely adorable. I really, really like it. It's kind of like a, I don't know what colour you'd call this. It's kind of like an off-white, kind of grey, kind of blue. Let's just stick with off-white. It is absolutely gorgeous. The way it wraps around and kind of drapes at the bottom into kind of like a V shape, I think is really flattering. You can kind of see that it could kind of flatter your figure the way it like is shaped, you know what I mean? It's got long sleeves again. I really, really like this. Again, with probably just some black jeans, brown boots. It could make a really nice piece, especially with like maybe a layered necklace. Cute. The next piece I have is kind of debatable whether it is autumn, winter appropriate. I feel like the colours are kind of autumnal with the blues and the reds and kind of like the deep orange almost brown colour. I really like this. I think it's really pretty. Chuck said to me when I opened the package, he was like, will you please wear that every day? He absolutely loved it. I think this was just kind of like blue jeans, brown boots. My style is really quite simple, like I just throw things on. I used to think about it a lot more and now I just kind of chuck things on. But this is gorgeous. It is a more lightweight knit, it's not super heavy, it's not super warm. So in the colder months it might be a good idea to put like a little cami underneath or something like that because it isn't the warmest piece. But it's got little holes down the middle as well so you can see what you're wearing underneath if you wanted to put like a cute like bralette on underneath it or something like that. But this is a really cute piece, I really like it. It's kind of like got that 70s vibe. It looks really cool on the camera as well actually. It's got that chevron print, it's really nice. The next piece I have, I can't quite figure it out. On the model it looks really really good but when I try to put it on it just kind of... so I can't really figure this piece out. On the model it looks really nice. On me I don't really do it right. I think it's supposed to like drape down your back and then kind of have like a deep V with the wraparound but I'll try to get it right for the try on clip. Again it's a really nice knit quality. I think it's a really cosy jumper. I think something like this would look really good with like wet look or leather um, jeans and then black boots because it kind of gives it a little bit of like that edge and the different textures. I think knits with like wet look or leather jeans look really really nice. Especially with like leather boots to kind of elongate your legs and everything. I think this is really pretty but I just need to figure out how to wear it because on the model it looks amazing and on me not so good but maybe that's just because I'm not a model. The next piece I've got is pretty simple. I'll show you these two pieces at the same time actually. They are just plain t-shirts. This one is slightly dirty, sorry if you can see that. It needs to be washed. But this one is just a peachy coloured v-neck. It's actually a really flattering shape when you have it on. It kind of dips to the side. I've been looking for kind of like v-neck t-shirts just to wear with blue jeans to just like throw a leather jacket over and like have a casual outfit. And I can never find one that kind of 
fits nicely. I always see people wearing like a v-neck top and they always look really nice and kind of put together even though it's so simple. But whenever I buy one, it just looks unflattering. It makes my body look weird. I can never find one that looks good. This one looks amazing. I'm not just saying that, it literally, it looks nice. You'll see on the try on clip, it just, it it's shaped nicely. The V is perfect and the way it like curves at the bottom, it just looks really well. Looks really well, looks really good. Do I know how to speak English? Don't think so. The next shirt that I got from them is this white t-shirt. Again, I've been looking for like that white v-neck, that staple thing that you can wear with literally everything. Blue jeans, black jeans, leather jeans, you can probably wear it with a skirt, literally. Everybody needs a white v-neck in their wardrobe, drawers, you need it, you need one. The next piece I have might not be everybody's cup of tea, but this is definitely right up my alley. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of like a vintage looking um, sweater dress. It's white and black, obviously. It's got the skater skirt at the bottom, and then it's got this thing to tie around your neck into a bow. It kind of reminds me of like a dress for a maid, but I really like it. I think it's really pretty. I love more vintage -y looking pieces like this. They have like a soft spot in my heart. And this is gorgeous. It's kind of got the... This one reminds me of like a sporty vibe, I guess you could say, with like the rim around the end. Obviously, this doesn't have any type of sporty vibe, but the kind of white stitching following around at the end of the sleeves kind of gives it that effect. It's just a little extra detail. I think it looks really nice. It flows really nicely. It fits really nicely. This is just a gorgeous piece. It's a very me piece. If you know me, you definitely pick this out for me. This next piece I am not 100% sure on. I like it, but I'm just like too scared to wear it. I saw Lydia Millen show a similar jumper in one of her videos. It kind of had the pearl detailing down. I think she had a gray one and like a pink one. It looked really, really nice. I think she had it on with like light blue jeans or something. It looked really pretty. So I wanted to try out a similar style because I know that's quite popular at the moment. I do really like this. I love the way the sleeves are kind of slightly balloon sleeves so away it tapers at the cuff and then flares out a little bit i really like that and the pearls are a really nice detail they um have washed this none of the pearls have come off they have stayed i did want to wash this before i showed you guys in case all the pearls came off and it just looked horrendous none of the pearls came off i did it on quite a hot heated wash with a fast spin and it, it's fine but this is gorgeous i really like it again the knit is such good quality i'm actually really quite shocked with how good the quality is of all of these items they feel nice, they look nice, I'm really really impressed and obviously this has been washed so it's been through, it's been through a lot and it's fine but I haven't actually tried this on yet, I just stuck it in the washing machine to see how it would do and I don't really know how to style it but the next piece I have is another one of my favourites, I think I have like three or four favourites in this haul and this is definitely one of them I've been looking for that kind of perfect drapey cardigan for so long I feel like it's so hard to find I think it's such a lovely like look like a really cozy look when someone's just got like black jeans on a black top and then like little booties and like a big chunky like drapey cardigan I think it looks really pretty I'm a big fan of cardigans and this one is just absolutely gorgeous it's got the kind of like what, what did I just say balloon sleeves with the tapered cuff and then it just drapes down perfectly it kind of it's got a straight edge here, so it kind of tucks underneath and kind of does that like floaty effect. It's just gorgeous. It's exactly what I've been looking for. I'd really like to get this in more colours if they do it. This is something I would really recommend. If you're only going to buy one thing from this haul, this should be it. It's absolutely gorgeous. The knit quality is really nice. Like, I'm trying to think of where you'd get this quality from. It's not Primark quality. It's better than Primark. It's kind of like River Island maybe. I'd probably compare it to River Island quality. I feel like you could get something this level quality in River, I River Island. I think I've got a speech impediment. These two items are the exact same, but one is grey and one is like an oatmeal colour. Really pretty. I've been looking for some turtlenecks because I always try and wear them, but I've got quite a fat face. Like, my face is shaped like an egg. Like, it kind of, like, is like this, and then it, like, puffs out each side. So I really like to wear turtlenecks, but... My face doesn't look too good, but they're really warm, they're cosy, they're a staple I think, but with a chubby face, I really do struggle. So fingers crossed these look okay, but I just love the colour of these, I love the way they drape down, they look really gorgeous on the website. I think the woman had it like, uh, like quite fluffed up, the turtleneck, and then light blue jeans on, with it kind of like tucked in, it just looked really nice. I want to recreate it, she was a model, she had a skinny face, I look like a sumo wrestler. So, it might be a different story for me. This next piece actually devastated me. I'm really tall, like, 
I'm a long person and this is too short on me I actually wouldn't be able to wear this out I don't think but it's really short well it's not short to like the normal person my friend Ellie she got to wear this but she's like this big so you know if you're like a normal sized person this will work for you if you're five foot five that's the average height for a woman or under this will be perfect for you if you're five foot seven like me probably won't work but this is so gorgeous. It's a knit dress. It's a dark navy. Is this navy? Yeah, it is navy. Dark navy blue. Oh, just look at it. It's so soft. Like, it's just that, like, it's like a blanket. Like, this is just everything you'd want in a dress. It's got, like, the frilly skirt going down, the balloon sleeves, the v-neck. It's just gorgeous. This is such a lovely dress. I really wish I wasn't so long so I could wear this. It is just stunning I love it the next piece I have here is kind of like I think it's meant to be just like a jumper like a long jumper but I would probably wear this as like a jumper dress because it is so long like this is really long actually you know what this must be a jumper dress you could wear it with leggings underneath it'd just be the coziest thing ever I tend to wear this around the house because it's just so like flowy and nice and easy and it's not like you know like squishing you and containing you so this is just it's so nice it's got big flowy sleeves it's just so comfy like if you're looking for one of those things that kind of like it's loungewear that's what i would class this as loungewear because i would just i'd get home take off all my uncomfortable clothes like this that keeps popping open and exposing my boobs not that i don't do that myself and it's just this is not the comfiest thing like you've got to like readjust and most clothes are like that it's not the dress is full it's just life this Get home, throw it on, put your slippers on. I'm actually wearing slippers right now. They match. And, you know, it's a good time for everybody. I would recommend it. The next piece I have is a dress. This is coming up very kind of like... So, on the camera, it's coming up kind of like a honey yellow. It's not. It's kind of like a deep mustard, almost orange. I can't really tell. From the back, it looks completely mustard. And from the front, it looks more orange. It's the same colour both sides, but just the light reflecting. Um... Let's go with mustard. I think it's it's a mustard colour. Either way, it's a nice colour. I like this colour. It's one of my favourites. I had a top this colour that I used to wear with like this uh, burgundy skirt. I love that outfit. Sorry, that's the dog. The next piece I have, I love open back pieces. And again, it's like that pink colour of the same as the like loungewear jumper dress I showed you. This is gorgeous. It's got the balloon sleeves as well. There's a theme going on. I love this like type of sleeve, they're so pretty. Actually my dress has it as well, like the coffin and the flowy sleeve. But this is like a light pink casual jumper. I love jumpers that have a little bit of detail. So this has an open back with a really pretty bow. Actually I've done a really good job on this bow, I'm really impressed with myself. It's really pretty, obviously you couldn't wear a bra with it. But I bought these like sticky boob things off um, Amazon where you just like stick it and then like hoist your boob up. Um, Good times for everybody they were really cheap on, on amazon i'll link them in the description so you can get them i think they're like seven pound and everybody needs a sticky boob now and again now the final piece is this kind of sheer zip up shirt i love shirts like this you can like roll the um sleeves up obviously which is probably what i will do but i love shirts like this they're just easy to wear throw some jeans on with them throw some heels on with them you already look put together like if i was going for a birthday meal I didn't have a long time to like figure out what I was wearing I would probably wear this just with like probably either blue jeans or the black leather jeans that I've been talking about over and over again with just some probably red stilettos if I could walk in them realistically it'd be like my short nude ones but if I could walk in red stilettos that's what I'd do leather jeans this shirt and then the red stilettos it'd be it dress the shirt up a little bit and I just I think this is one of those pieces that automatically automatically same automatically make you look you know put together like you can conquer the world that's that and this is the last piece I've showed you everything so that is absolutely everything I have to show you guys I do love all these pieces overall I think the quality is really nice especially what you're paying like you know price to value absolutely perfect I'd have to say my favorites are the salt and pepper jumper the kind of chevron 70s thing the white shirt the vintagey looking dress the khaki um, cardigan and the loungewear jumper and I'd say they're my favourites I think maybe maybe this shirt as well because it's just so versatile they're my favourites, they're my top picks out of the entire haul but everything is absolutely lovely but if I had to pick, pick those 
like top favourites, it'll be those. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to check the links in the description to check any of these things out. I also have a discount code in there if you'd like to use it. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. I know I've been kind of MIA a little bit. I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. It's kind of hard. I'm really busy. My life's just kind of like, doo -doo -doo -doo, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I'll see you guys, fingers crossed, soon with a new video. And yeah, bye. My legs hurt for standing for that long.